Hello, and welcome to Storytime with Kay. Today we will read Sophia the First, Sophia's Magic Lesson by Sarah Nathan. This book was published by Disney Press in 2014. Sophia is so excited. It's her first sorcery class ever at Royal Prep. I can't wait to learn magic, she says, taking her seat next to James in the classroom. Fauna, the sorcery teacher, explains that the first lesson is a spell to change a rock into a ruby. Sophia gets set to try the spell. She waves her wand, says the magic words, and turns her rock into an apple. Sophia looks around and sees that all the other kids have rubies on their desks. Don't worry, class, says Fauna. You can practice at home later. We have three new spells to learn today. Three new spells, plus a test at the end of the week. How will Sophia ever learn them all? After school, Sophia practices her spells with Clover. This time, she turns a rock into a tomato. It was supposed to turn into a ruby, she says, disappointed. Clover grabs the tomato. This is much better, he says, taking a big bite. If you want to learn magic, ask a sorcerer. That's it. Cedric is just the person to help Sophia. When Cedric sees Sophia at his door, he can't help staring at her magical am amulet. It's so nice to see your amulet. I mean, you, he adds quickly, inviting her inside. As Sophia looks around at the mess in Cedric's workshop, she gets an idea. Could I help clean up your workshop in return for magic lessons? She asks. Having Sophia in his workshop every day will give Cedric a chance to take the amulet. So he agrees to make Sophia his apprentice. I'm going to brew up a potion that will make me invisible, Cedric tells Wormwood after Sophia leaves. Then I'll swipe Sophia's amulet and rule the kingdom. I will be King Cedric the First. Cedric cries happily. When Sophia returns the next day, she's ready for her first magic lesson. She cleans while Cedric works on his invisibility potion. It doesn't go very well, though. Next, Cedric teaches Sophia a phrase his father, Goodwin the Great, taught him. Slow and steady does the trick. Sophia holds her wand straight, and she slowly recites the magic words. It works! In her hand is a ruby. I did it! Sophia exclaims. You are a really good teacher, Mr. Cedric. Cedric blushes. He's not used to getting compliments. Just then, Bailiwick comes in with a message for Cedric. King Roland wants to see him right away. Roland tells Cedric that King Magnus is coming for a visit. He's always bragging about his kingdom, King Roland says. He points to the stone gargoyles. Maybe you could change the gloomy gargoyles into golden horses. That would impress him. So Cedric raises his wand and turns a gargoyle into a winged horse, but it flies away. King Roland shakes his head. Not every royal sorcerer can be as gifted as your father, he says. Poor Cedric. Sorry your spell didn't work, says Sophia. Cedric shrugs. 
Then he tells Sophia about his father, the greatest royal sorcerer who ever waved a wand. He even saved King Roland's father nine times, but I haven't saved anyone's life. Just then, one of the potion bottles fell, falls off the shelf and turns Sophia into a lizard. In an instant, Cedric leaps into action. Lizardo changeo. And poof, Sophia changes back. Thank you, Sophia exclaims. Oh, that's an easy spell, Cedric says. Sophia looks up at Cedric. You're so good at magic. So why couldn't you turn the gargoyles into golden horses? Cedric admits that when he's around the king, he gets nervous. I'm going to find a way to show Dad that you're a great sorcerer, Sophia tells Cedric. Why would you do that? Cedric asks. Sophia grins. Because you're my friend. At dinner that night, King Magnus goes on and on about his kingdom and his sorcerer. We have a great sorcerer too, Sophia says. We should have put him put on a show. Her family looks worried. After all, Cedric isn't really great at magic. But when King Magnus finds out that Cedric is the son of Goodwin the Great, he insists. Back in Cedric's workshop, Sophia encourages her friend. We can help each other get ready, she says. Remember, slow and steady does the trick. While Cedric is busy preparing tricks for his royal magic show, Sophia practices her spells for the sorcery test. But her spells still aren't perfect. A little later, as Sophia cleans Cedric's workshop, she wipes a smudge off his spell book and discovers why Cedric's invisibility potion isn't working. He didn't see two ingredients on the list. When Sophia tells him the news, Cedric can't believe it. Now he can finally make the potion. He says goodnight to Sophia, drops the final two ingredients into the cauldron, and smiles. I did it, Wormy, he shouts. And then Cedric sees what Sophia left for him. She made this for me? Cedric asks. Nobody has ever done anything like that for him before. The next day, Sophia is ready for her magic test. Fauna passes out a rock, a lime, and an old shoe. You must perform the tr three transformation spells we learned this week, she says. Sophia takes a deep breath and remembers Cedric's advice. Slow and steady, she tells herself. It works! Sophia passes the sorcery test. She runs home to show mom and dad her gold star. Meanwhile, Cedric is ready for the magic show. When it's time for my last trick, I'll pour the invisibility potion on myself, swipe Sophia's amulet, and take over the kingdom, he tells Wormwood. The magic show begins, and Cedric announces that his first trick will be to make Clover fly. But instead, he makes poor Clover bounce. Sophia feels bad for Cedric. If only he were doing a trick he knew well, she thinks. And then she has an idea. She takes the lizard potion from Cedric's magic bag and spills it on herself. Sophia's a lizard, James shouts. In a flash, Cedric cries, Lizardo changeo, and poof, Sophia is back unharmed. You saved Sophia's life, King Roland cries. That was magnificent, thank you. I saved her life, Cedric asks, blushing as his audience claps. You did that on purpose, Cedric whispers to Sophia. Sophia smiles. It's the one trick I knew you could do no matter how nervous you were. 
Cedric's next trick is the invisibility potion. It's a trick I've been planning for many, many years, he says, raising his wand. But then he sees Sophia's smiling face. He lowers his arm and pours the potion on Clover instead. Everyone, including King Magnus, is impressed. Cedric is a great sorcerer, he declares. Back in Cedric's workshop, Sophia gives her friend a gold star. It was fun being your apprentice, she says. Good night, Mr. Cedric. Cedric watches her leave and then turns to Wormwood. Oh, Wormy, he says. We can always take over the kingdom tomorrow. The End